Archimedean solid. In geometry, an Archimedean solid is one of the 13 solids first enumerated by Archimedes. They are the semi-regular convex polyhedra composed of regular polygons meeting in identical vertices, excluding the five platonic solids, which are composed of only one type of polygon, and excluding the prisms and antiprisms. They differ from the Johnson solids, whose regular polygonal faces do not meet in identical vertices. Identical vertices means that each two vertices are symmetric to each other. A global isometry of the entire solid takes one vertex to the other while laying the solid directly on its initial position. Observe that a 14th polyhedron, the elongated square gyra bicupola, or pseudo-rhombicube octahedron, meets a weaker definition of an Archimedean solid, in which identical vertices means merely that the faces surrounding each vertex are of the same type i.e. each vertex looks the same from close-up, so only a local isometry is required. Grunbaum pointed out a frequent error in which authors define Archimedean solids using this local definition but omit the 14th polyhedron. If only 13 polyhedra are to be listed, the definition must use global symmetries of the polyhedron rather than local neighborhoods. Prisms and antiprisms, whose symmetry groups are the dihedral groups, are generally not considered to be Archimedean solids, even though their faces are irregular polygons and their symmetry groups act transitively on their vertices. Excluding these two infinite families, there are 13 Archimedean solids. All the Archimedean solids, but not the elongated square gyra by cupola, can be made via Wythoff constructions from the platonic solids with tetrahedral, octahedral, and icosahedral symmetry. The Archimedean solids take their name from Archimedes, who discussed them in a now lost work. Pappus refers to it, stating that Archimedes listed 13 polyhedra. During the Renaissance, Artists and mathematicians valued pure forms with high symmetry, and by around 1620 Johannes Kepler had completed the rediscovery of the 13 polyhedra, as well as defining the prisms, antiprisms, and the non-convex solids known as Kepler points out polyhedra. Kepler may have also found the elongated square gyra by cupola, pseudorhombicube octahedron, at least, he once stated that there were 14 Archimedean solids. However, his published enumeration only includes the 13 uniform polyhedra, and the first clear statement of the pseudorhombicube octahedron's existence was made in 1905, by Duncan Somerville. There are 13 Archimedean solids, not counting the elongated square gyra by cupola, 15 at the mirror images of two enantiomorphs, the snub cube and snub dodecahedron, are counted separately. Here the vertex configuration refers to the type of regular polygons that meet at any given vertex. For example, a vertex configuration of 4, 6, 8 means that a square, hexagon, and octagon meet at a vertex, with the order taken to be clockwise around the vertex. Some definitions of semi-regular polyhedron include one more figure, the elongated square gyro by cupola or pseudo-rhombicube octahedron. The number of vertices is 720 degrees divided by the vertex angle defect. The cube octahedron and icosidodecahedron are edge uniform and are called quasi regular. The duals of the Archimedean solids are called the Catalan solids. Together with the bipyramids and trapezohedra, these are the face uniform solids with regular vertices. The snub cube and snub dodecahedron are known as chiral, as they come in the left handed, Latin, levomorph or levomorph, form in right handed, Latin dextromorph, form. When something comes in multiple forms which are each other's three-dimensional mirror image, these forms may be called enantiomorphs. This nomenclature is also used for the forms of certain chemical compounds. The different Archimedean and Platonic solids can be related to each other using a handful of general constructions. Starting with a Platonic solid, truncation involves cutting away of corners. To preserve symmetry, the cut is in a plane perpendicular to the line joining a corner to the center of the polyhedron and is the same for all corners. Depending on how much is truncated, see table below, different platonic and Archimedean and other, solids can be created. Expansion or cantillation involves moving each face away from the center, by the same distance so as to preserve the symmetry of the platonic solid, and taking the convex hull. Expansion with twisting also involves rotating the faces, thus breaking the rectangles corresponding to edges into triangles. The last construction we use here is truncation of both corners and edges. Ignoring scaling, expansion can also be viewed as truncation of corners and edges but with a particular ratio between corner and edge truncation. Note the duality between the cube and the octahedron, 
and between the dodecahedron and the icosahedron. Also, partially because the tetrahedron is self-dual, only one Archimedean solid has only tetrahedral symmetry. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.